Hello folks, uh, this question belongs to 2019, October, uh, November, paper 1, 2, and uh, the question number is uh, 9. Uh, this question is concerned with the chapter uh, dynamics, it's about uh, uh, conservation of momentum. So it says that the space probe Rosetta was designed to investigate a comet, it's okay. The probe consists, uh, consisted of an orbiter and a lander. So this is the orbiter, which orbits, and this is the lander which it has to uh, separate so that this thing lands on the surface. So if uh, I have uh, I have the comet like this, comet like this, the orbiter and the lander will be moving somewhat like this, somewhat like this. Let us say it's reading there. So this is the orbiter, orbiter, and this piece is the lander. So it's moving like this. Tangentially, it is moving like this, like this. Here it is uh, anti-clockwise direction. The orbiter had a mass of 170 kgs. So mass of the orbiter equal to 170 kgs. And the lander had a mass of 100 kgs. So M land is equal to 100 kg. So when the two parts separated, when the two parts separated, the lander was pushed towards the surface of the comet. So this is the lander. It is pushed towards the surface of the comet. So that its change in velocity towards the comet was three meter per second. So here, what does it mean that? So may, many of uh, uh, our pupils, uh, they they were confused in this thing. So what it means it was that initially it was moving in uh, almost circular orbit. Generally, that's what happens. So that means uh, the velocity of this thing towards the comet was zero. It was moving tangentially, so the velocity towards here is zero. So now it is uh, three meter per second. So that means the change will be will be uh, this 3 minus 0. So the change will be 3 minus 0, which means uh, uh, the change is equal to the change is equal to its velocity towards the surface. So that's why the mass of it is simply the mass of the uh, mass of the lander is equal to 3.0 meter per second. So the change and its magnitude is the same because initially the velocity of this thing compared to the surface was zero. Uh, actually, the velocity towards the surface was zero initially. So now what we have is, uh, assume that the orbiter and uh, lander were as we said, so it's okay. The orbiter moved away from the comet during the separation. So if lander moves like this, orbiter has to move like this. Uh, it follows from the uh, principle of conservation of momentum. What is the change in the speed of the orbiter? So we have to find the change in the speed of the orbiter like this. So once again here, what I have is, the orbiter was not moving towards or away from the comet in the beginning. So that's why the velocity now, uh, the change will be equal to this velocity minus zero, this velocity minus zero. So uh, that change is equal to this velocity itself. So, so, so we have, we have to find this m orbit equal to what? So according to the principle of conservation of uh, momentum, so initially it was moving like this. Uh, it, it was neither moving towards the comet nor away, so we have to say, and since they were combined initially, that is equal to, so initially is a zero, total momentum, uh, if we consider them as a single system, zero equal to, equal to uh, MO, uh, MO, uh, sorry, this is VL, sorry, this is VL, we need to find VO here, MOVO minus MLVL, since they move in opposite direction, it should be like this. So what you have to find is, we have to find the mass of orbiter. So it gives us MOVO is equal to MLVL, which further gives us VO is equal to MLVL by MO. So this will be equal to ML is, uh, lambda is 100, 100 into uh, VL is, uh, VL is uh, uh, 3, 0.0, 3.0, and this is 170. So when you do the calculations, so it will give us 100 uh, into uh, 3 divided 170 equal to 1.76 meter per second. So the answer choice, which is uh, most uh, near, nearest to this choice is uh, 1.8. So choice number A should be the correct choice.